so guys this is the place where we left in our last video so we need uh, this is a, a window where you can personalize so I'll choose just academic or researcher and I'm interested in let's say learning and certification that's it here the 10 minutes tutorial for everything how you can launch a Linux virtual machine you can deploy docker containers you can run a serverless hello world uh, how you can launch the website and web apps like WordPress and uh, web application tutorials are there for storage and content delivery under this uh, heading you will get to uh, tutorial of a store and retrieve a file you can create a network file system you can create a batch upload files to the cloud and the databases create and query a NoSQL table so uh, don't worry we are going to uh, deal all these things in our course but this is what you can get from AWS to uh, in short format so uh, you will find somewhat the videos are lacking in some explanation part uh, but for that we are here to help you out but this is something which you want to quickly see and you um, just want to look into the steps and that's it nothing else okay so let me go ahead and submit this now I can uh, I need to go to I need to sign into the console I'll click on it or I can in the default page I need to click on this sign into the console I can click I clicked on sign into the console So I'll type right now the first time I'm going to log in as a um, the root account holder. The root account holder is the one who has the maximum uh, rights and you should try not using your root account. Uh, in successive videos we will guide you how you can create a user and have a custom uh, web console link where you via which you can access your web AWS console management console but for the first time we need to log in into this window I'm typing my following all the best practices so here we are this is the actual live console of Amazon Web Services. This is the first page view and uh, where you can learn how to build all these things. AWS Marketplace feedback, uh, some recent updates, explore AWS, machine learning with Amazon SageMaker, a very robust tool of uh, supporting deep learning uh, helpful tips to manage your costs uh, you can create organization where you can interact and manage your different uh, AWS accounts at one place here you'll see the AWS logo the default if you click on it it will take you to the home here are services different services which you are going to use in this particular course resource groups again uh, uh, another uh, option I'll, uh, talk about all these things all these features a pin to so that you can pin up your highly accessible services like we generally access EC2 a lot so we can have it here and uh, either we can choose of having icons or text or we can have icons only or text only so in this manner you can have your mostly accessed services up in front of you uh, notification area your name account information organization is for handling different account billing dashboard security credential these are the regions where all what all regions you have access to Beijing is not listed here Chinese region is restrictive region rest you can go and check and uh, and also AWS Gov Cloud 
you can go and have your infrastructure uh, installed or hosted in whatever region you want and it is uh, recommended that you keep the infrastructure as close to you where your customers are there customer base are there so, so i'm in mumbai i'm in india sorry so mumbai region is the one which i will going to prefer or in earlier days people uh, who were working in india they used to uh, prefer singapore region so before mumbai it was the singapore region which uh, got launched and where is support option support center forums documentation training and other resources so this is the way that you can have your aws account uh, right now if i go inside my uh, one of the services which you are going to have look into iam that's for identity and access management it will show me that uh, uh, most of these things are uh, showing exclamation mark. I need to uh, do all this stuff to uh, work. Okay, I need to activate MFA. I need to create individual IAM user and stop using root account. Uh, I need to assign groups to requisite permissions. And I need to apply an IAM policy, password policy. So how we can do? Sim simple how you can how you're going to manage a password you click on manage password you say minimum password length is six or seven or eight whatever you think uh, it should require at least one uppercase one lowercase at least one number and alphanumeric character and if you want you can allow user to change their own password or if you are too much restrictive you can keep it to yourself best practices you keep it later on you can uh, remove or uh, renew their password Pass password expiration date should not be too much long should not be too much short two months i guess is a healthy enough time we can prevent password reuse so that number of password which got remembered should not be like repeatedly by changing one or two things so i'd say three three passwords because 60 days that means almost uh, six months is enough time to have a new set of password and password i guess that's all i guess uh, that's enough and this uh, pass whatever changes we are making here in the password policy it's it's a globally it will get globally applied so one very famous question comes in solution architect question that uh, your one of your uh, employee want uh, to have uh, access in your some in some particular region and whether you want to go and create that user in that particular uh, user in that particular region so suppose i am in mumbai the task being assigned to me that the new uh, web developer that has joined our team should have access to one web server in singapore region so should i go and create that user in singapore region and assign necessary permission or i can do this by sitting at uh, mumbai sitting in mumbai region only so I can do it because if you see at the top, it's a global. I am changes uh, in the users, groups and roles, whatever things you are doing, it's mostly global, it, especially users. Uh, it's a globally propagated. So if I have given permission to a user in that particular, in one particular region, it's generally propagated to other regions also, but you can restrict it also. There are some necessary tweaks that you can make being an administrator, you can tweak them, not the user. That some resources which are sitting in particular region, suppose there are some resources sitting in North Virginia region or in Singapore region or in, let's say in uh, uh, Australia region. I can give a, a requisite access to the person to access only resources sitting in Singapore region. I can tweak the policy but as such the creation of user and this password policy specifically get uh, imp uh, get implemented globally on a global scale so I can click apply password policy 
once done if i go back again to the dashboard i'll see one more green ticked in my account okay so that's it guys uh, we'll uh, discuss the rest of the part in our later videos thank you very much